Hi everyone, in this video, I will going to solve this nice part problem. The equation we have root of 49 over 7 minus root of 48. So let's get started the solution. In the first step, I will going to rationalize the denominator by taking the conjugate of the denominator that is 7 minus root of 48. So I will going to write this 7 plus root of 48 over 7 plus root of 48. Now here I will going to apply the algebraic identity that is a minus b, a plus b, be written as a square minus b square. So these are in positive and negative form, so I am going to write in this form. So first I am going to multiply that numerator by 49, so 7 plus root of 48 over and 7 to the power of 2 minus root of 48 and whole to the power of 2. And this will turn to root of 49 bracket 7 plus root of 48 over 7 to the power of 2 is equals to 49 and here this and this get cancelled so here only 48 is remaining and here we will get that is 1. So I can write this 49 bracket 7 plus root of 48 here. Now here I will going to apply the radical rule that is n root of a times b can be written as n root of a times n root of b. Here we have the terms in the same root so I will going to write in the separate root. Root of 49 times root of 7 plus root of 48. So the root of 49 we have that is 7 times root of 7 plus root of 48. Now next I will going to express this term in this form 7 times root of 2 times 7 plus root of 48 over 2. If I am going to cancel out the 2 we will get the same above term. So here I will going to express this in this form and then I will going to multiply it here. So 7 times and 7, 2 times is 14 plus 2 root of 48 over 2. The next step I will going to split this 14 and this 48. So according to 48 I will going to write here 14 in this form 8 plus 6 equals to 14 plus 2 and root of 8 times 6 give us 48 over 2. Now I will going to express this separate root and this in other form 7 times root of 8 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to 8. And root of 6 whole to the power of 2 is equals to 6, 2. And root of 8 times root of 6 over. And this also I'm going to express in this one. Root of 2 and whole to the power of 2. Now here we're going to apply the algebraic identity that is a plus b whole to the power of 2 can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this is our a and b value here. We are going to express this 7 times root of root of 8 plus root of 6 and whole to the power of 2 over root of 2 and whole to the power of 2. Now we have the common power on the denominator and the numerator. 
So I was going to apply here the exponential rule that is a square over b square can be written as a over b and whole to the power of 2. So this I was going to express in the one bracket. 7 times root of root of 8 plus root of 6 over root of 2 and whole to the power of 2. So here this square and this root get cancelled. So the expression we will get here that is 7 times root of 8 plus root of 6 over root of 2. Now we're going to express this expression in this form 7 over root of 2 times root of 8 plus root of 6. Now we're going to rationalize this denominator. We're going to express this 7 over root of 2 times root of 2 over root of 2 and times root of 8 plus root of 6. Here now this 7 going to be multiplied with this root of 2 over root of 2 and whole to the power of 2 times root of 8 plus root of 6. This will be equal to 7 root of 2. This and this get cancelled, so here 2 is remaining. And here I will going to split this 8, 4 times 2 plus root of 6. And here this I will going to write 7 root of 2 over 2. And the root of 4 we have that is 2 root of 2. We can write root of 6. Now this 7 root of 2 over 2 is multiplying with this bracket. So I will going to write 7 root of 2 over 2 times 2 root of 2 plus root of 6. 7 root of 2 over 2 multiplying with this 2 root of 2. And now I will going to write 7 root of 2 times root of 6 over 2. This and this get cancelled. And the next expression we get that is 7 root of 2 times root of 2 plus 7 root of 2 times 6. I'm going to write in the same bracket over 2. Now this I'm going to express in the root and whole to the power of 2. So this equation turns to 7 root of 2 and whole to the power of 2 plus 7 and 2 6 times give us 12 over 2. Now again, I will going to split this 12 and here this and this get cancelled. So 7, 2 times 14 plus 7 and root of 4, 3 times give us 12 over 2. So here we will get next 14 plus 7 and this I will going to write in this separate root or either I'm going to solve it out 2 root of 3 over 2. So this will turn to 14 plus 2 times give us 14 root of 3 over 2. Now this fraction is going to be reduced by 7 here. Any expression we will get here that is 14 plus 7 root of 3. So this is the final answer. Thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video please do hit the like button and please support my channel by subscribing it.